This is a brief orientation to the course to get you started. When you log in, you start at the dashboard. As I mentioned in the announcement, you can go to announcements. On Mondays, there will be an announcement always and sometimes during the week. You can click over here also for announcements to look at your announcements. Usually there will be a text announcement and also a video. So to get started, click on welcome. And I give a little information about myself and then this orientation video will be here. You can click next to go to start here or you can click start here button. Most of the work you'll do this week is in the start here area. Please read all the information. It's very helpful to you for the success of your course. That's the reason I put it in there. I put it in there because all of these things are important to make you successful in this course. The course syllabus link is there, which you can also get to that from over here at any time if you need to review something on it. There's a schedule on the last page of the course syllabus, so that's always important and handy to have. Tells you about your required textbooks, which I sent you ahead of time that you needed to buy the code and not to register the code yet, but you do need to purchase it and how you can purchase it or get a 14 day free trial. The course policies, of course, one of the most important is the late work policy. I put that in there specifically and created it specifically uh, for your success so that you don't get too far behind and then have difficulty catching up. If you get a couple of weeks behind, you're going to have trouble catching up. The more time you, you stop yourself from logging into the course and doing your assignments and putting it off, the worse it's going to be. So be sure that you do not procrastinate on anything. Read all of this this week, continuing uh, reading all about the start here. Important about the grading so that you understand how you will be graded how we'll interact, and then your first assignments that are graded. Introduce yourself and the syllabus discussion. So be sure you click in there, read those, do a thorough job of introducing yourself, read the instructions first, and understand what you'll be graded on. There's a rubric in there that will help you understand that, and then your syllabus discussion. This week you also have your first timed writing. According to the objectives for this course, that are set by the college, you have to type 45 words a minute uh, with five or fewer errors on a three minute timed writing. So uh, you can do that this week. If you finish it, you need both of these screenshots in order to get credit. But if you complete it and make the 100, then you're done with that for the course. If not, then you'll need to try that again each week. There's also a help forum. A discussion board so if you have a question you're welcome to ask the question there you do not have to um, email me every question that you have if it's going to benefit everyone then ask it in the help forum if it's personal about your uh, how you did on an assignment or if it's personal about your your specific grade or needing an extension then you can uh, email me you can go to unit two by clicking next is unit one or unit one to get started for the following week, or you can go to unit one over here. There's a video, a video or explanation on how to get started with MindTap. You can download your student data files here. And you can also go to uh, module one then to get started. These icons that have the blue, varied blues in a circle will take you into MindTap where you have your code. Um, in order to do those, you would have to have your code. There are lots of videos here. You can read those uh, or watch those to begin with, or you can watch those if you need to, or, and you can also refer back to those if you have any problem. So the way this works, each week you have a training, an exam, and a project. The training, everyone should make 100 on it because it gives you plenty of chances to do so. You just keep doing it until you make 100. The exam is over the training, so you only have one opportunity to submit it, although you have three opportunities on each 
um, on each skill. And then a project is actually typing a letter, making changes in a letter that you've learned in your training and your exam. So it's showing what you've learned in the first two items. If you need to repeat the timed writing because you didn't make 100 the week before, you can do that here. And you can continue to repeat that timing each week until you make 100. And then next is module two. And we do take two weeks for each module because there are, or one week for each module, I'm sorry. And then the next week, module two, you can click here to go to module two. And if you click on unit one, you'll notice that at the end of module four, there is a capstone project for you to complete and also a journal for you to write. The journal is between you and I, and this gives me an idea. I've asked you some questions to answer, some things to think about on how uh, you can become more successful in the course or in things that you're struggling with. And again, it's just between the two of us. It's not between, it's not to the whole class. And you can also uh, give me some ideas on what I can do maybe to help you better. So that's uh, a helpful tool for both of us on both of our sides. On the left navigation bar, if you have any problems with MindTap, I highly recommend you contact the support very quickly. They are very good at helping you, so be sure that you do that. There's your Cengage support. Uh, if you are using a Mac, there's some Mac information. You want to go to that link. Your announcement, your email. If you need Blackboard help, you have not uh, used Black before, Blackboard before, I highly recommend you do the tutorial. You can access the course syllabus quickly here and, of course, the help forum for us to all ask questions and interact together as a class. You'll notice that you have three units, a capstone after each unit, as I've shown you here, and then you have a final project that I think you'll enjoy. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to say is your time is very important. I know we all are very busy. So online courses should be treated just like your face-to-face -face course. So if you attend a face-to-face -face course, 9 to 10, Monday through Friday, that's three hours. And then for every hour you attend, you should also have three hours of study time. So in other words, you should plan about 12 hours for that course during the week. So what I want you to do, because this is just as important, it needs you need to have a schedule. I want you to create a schedule. Think about your personal life and your hours of work and your other courses and create a schedule and email that schedule to me. It should have 12 hours that you'll be working on this from Monday through Sunday. And all 12 hours cannot be Saturday and Sunday. <coughs> Excuse me. So you should... Um, work some Monday through Friday so that you have time to ask questions and get a grip on what the assignment is and know whether you're going to need some help. So come up with a schedule. Most of you will not need the full 12 hours, but especially in these first units, but think about your schedule. Do schedule 12 hours. Your schedule could be uh, from 10 to 2 in the morning. I don't know what your schedule is going to be, but or it could be from 10 to midnight, um, four days a week and then some on the weekend. But come up with a schedule, email it to me for bonus points. Um, again, the emailed schedule to me, um, and it's a schedule that I hope you'll adhere to, but of course it's flexible. You can change it around. That's the online beauty of online. You don't have to actually attend but you do have to do a certain amount of work every week. So email me the schedule for bonus. Hope we have a great semester. I look forward to working with you. End of video.